play panel. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. One person was at the free play panel. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, the Slow Mo Guys panel was in here last, and Gavin was like, what the hell? And I texted him, you're welcome. <laughs> we bedazzled the Slow Mo yeah. panel. Yeah. You just it. gave it a little bit of sparkle. Just a little bit of pizzazz. It's, so uh, it's here we are. We're going to do uh, the patch, minus Ashley. Ashley will join us in a she bit. Was. She'll be here in a minute. She was in the middle of amazingly racing here. Right. Amazingly racing here. Yeah. Yes. Groan. That's what you got. You have one groan. <laughs> no, then, then we got a boo. You so I feel like boo. we're at the point now in RTX where it's like, you're approaching the end. It's yep. like the low energy. Mm. It's like, ooh. No. Ow! Except for that one person. Okay. So uh, we'll do our best to try to keep the energy up and, uh, and talk about video games. We could have another rave. Yeah. Hey, do you guys have the music ready? Woo. Fucking nail it, audio people, if you've got the music ready. What? Nope. They, they, oh, we, they don't we, even know we're talking we to them. We rave music for oh. our panel. <laughs> yeah. And it was Sandstorm. Of there course, may still be so. some... <laughs> There might even be some glow sticks still floating yeah. around in here. Well, that's where all this confetti and stuff came from. Our rave. Nice. Yeah, I missed it. I was doing another panel at the same time. It was an RT yeah. podcast. It's cool. That's why our panel wasn't full. It's all right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so it, uh, doing the patch at RTX is always weird to me because it's like the time when I've, I've probably been playing the least amount of games. Right. Oh, yeah. And I'm totally out of the loop as to what's going on. I feel video like games. last year we ended up doing like 15 minutes of the patch and then 45 minutes of questions. Yeah, so we'll do yeah. questions uh, yeah. at some point. I will say it's awesome to kick Funhouse's ass in Gigantic. Mm. We, don't, <laughs> we don't need to talk about what happened in Lawbreakers. It's a good game, solid game. They were really like proud of Lawbreakers. They were like, all right, they got it. Were they? Gigantic. They were like planning. They were like, oh, they finally got, got one. But I think in Lawbreakers, we're going to bring it's it back. It's so cute that they liked that they won one finally. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, was, it on, was it on PC, both of those? They were both on PC, yeah. Oh, so you all beat them in a PC game. We beat them in yeah, a PC. Yeah, how was well, Lawbreakers? Lawbreakers actually is really fun. Very uh, different movement style than uh, a lot of games I've played before it. That guy's really into, into movement, yeah. <laughs> Yay, movement. Move! Woohoo! Hey, I get that excited about move or die, so. I you feel do, like, yeah. I feel you. Yeah. Uh, but no, yeah, it was uh, the. I'm interested to see what the fifth class is, because I only had the four unlocked for the. I think it's an alpha build still that we played here. Uh, so whatever the fifth class is will be really interesting. Uh, it's a pretty interesting uh, uh, weaponry mix between the different classes and just play style mix, so. Um, really curious to see where it goes. Very cool. I, yeah, Gigantic was also a little bit, uh, was a lot of fun to do. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. No, so I haven't played Lawbreakers. Uh, I've seen Gigantic, and Gigantic seems cool to me, but uh, I'm really curious to know a little more about Lawbreakers. Is Lawbreakers first person or third person? It was first person. Okay, mm. yeah. And it's like, um, like, what is it, like MOBA style? or? No, no, no. Actually, there's apparently there's several different game modes. The game mode that we played was, it's uh, kind of similar to uh, like a control style gameplay where there's three points and you have to uh, take each point by just obviously having... Like a King of the Hill sort of thing. It's like uh, three points simultaneously, though. Right. So it's, yeah, King of the Hill over three points, two teams. Uh, it's, I think it was 5v5 or... I feel like that's no, very Call of Duty. It is, yeah, actually, sort of. It's got <laughs> very similar to some Call of Duty gameplay. Um, and uh, the difference being you can... It's one, it's very vertical, so there's, uh, you can fly up, there's a lot of skills that take you up into the air, a lot of skills that keep you up in the air, or can throw you backwards and forwards, or manipulate where you are in space. Um, and uh, it was, it's very quick rounds, so it's typically, you have a real quick fight over certain control points. One person being in the control point can contest it, so it's a big thing with that game seemed to be, at least in the maps that we played, finding a place to hide a person while your team claimed one point so that you could all get together and battle over the remaining point. Because usually one team would take one point, one team would take the other point pretty quickly off the bat. Uh, but it seems like there's a lot of strategy there between maybe like trying to sneak one player over to just mm. contest so that the team can't take their point as quickly and just so you can amass people in different places. Is it like 4v4 or what is it? 5v5. 5v5, okay. Yeah, and there's different game modes. I, that was the one we played. I'd, I'd heard that there was another one involving some kind of sphere. All right. That's the only detail I have. It's, there's a sphere first, involved. You're in here first. Circle gameplay. Yes, geometry fans will be quite happy. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Oh, sphere. I thought you said spear. Spear. Oh. Sphere. Sphere. A, a three dimensional circle. Sphere. Yes. Yeah. So um, I, I have not had a chance to play many games here. I think the only things I played were Carmageddon on center stage, and I played Halo 5 earlier, mm. which. Mm -hmm. 
I've played Halo before. You played Halo? I, 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 How did you find it? I, I've mm. played some Halo. We played a uh, firefight. I hadn't played the firefight mode before. Oh, oh really? that's right. That's out now. Yeah, that, that just came out. So what do you think of the new firefight mode? We got our asses kicked. Wow, I mean, that's hardly surprising. Yeah. I mean, oh, hey. no. Whoa. <laughs> the only game I've gotten to play here is uh, Super Fight. I played the new, so they're in closed beta right now for the PC release, the Steam release for Super Fight. Um, so you don't have to, I feel like such an idiot now with all these physical cards. Like, ooh, go home, Grandma. It's on the computer now. <laughs> um, but I won, so nice. I, feel, I feel like I brought it back for you. You got your ass kicked. I won. <laughs> Thank you. I, I beat kind of funny. Oh. All of them. Nice. Oh, wait. Even a shirtless Greg Miller? He, you know what? He showed off a little bit of the goods. Yeah? And then he put it back away. Was, so. was it in shame? Did he just did you beat him? And so he was just like, no, no. Yeah, you got to put it back. for the victory. You got to put it back away. Actually, Greg and I sort of teamed up. We were like 2v2. But uh. then, like when we sat down, we thought it was going to be 2v2. It was not. So at first we were working together as a team, and then it became like, oh, it's supposed to be every man for himself. So. <laughs> I, I forgot. The other game I played was uh, Mario Party 1. Oh, yes! And I played with, uh, with Greg Miller and so a good. couple of guys from Screw Attack. And uh, we, uh, it was at SGC over mm -hmm. at the JW Marriott, and it was from 11 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. That's awesome. So people were very drunk. Of course. <laughs> Greg Miller took his, in a surprising twist, Yeah. Greg Miller took his pants oh. off. Oh! He's really changing it up. He's maturing as an artist. It Incredible. Was, it was a little sad for me because I realized I own the exact same pair of underwear he was wearing. <laughs> were they like MeUndies, though? They were MeUndies. Something? I was like, okay. oh, it's the MeUndies houndstooth uh, yeah. print. I own those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but I ended up, I won that game. That's, oh, the awesome. o that's the only game I've won all weekend, but I think it was the one that counted the most. Mario Party one's, uh, Mario Party's so awesome. We play them all the time. And uh, my favorite, actually, we were just talking about playing Mario Party for the fourth. My favorite is when Lindsay wins, because we usually play me, Gab, and Michael Lindsay. My favorite is when Lindsay wins because, first of all, she wins and she goes like, all right, take it home. Like, that's like the <laughs> most excitement you're going to get out of her. And it just pisses Michael off to no end because it means he lost in some bullshit manner. And it's yeah. really, really fun. I, uh, I, I kind of played dumb. Like, I've played a lot of Mario Party. I hadn't played Mario Party 1 in a long time. But uh, I just was like, oh, yeah, Mario Party, I don't know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so, like, the, no one kind of viewed me as a threat. Oh. And I just kind of, like, played middle of the road. And, like, See, in the, Mario Party the 1, end. they have, like, hidden blocks where you could just get a fucking star on the map because the game decides you should have a star. Those right. are the worst. Mario Party 1 and 2 both. I mean, a lot of them well, have them, but 2 is the Like, Michael would get a, a random star every time. Well, that's why you got to kind, kind of play, like, bottom of the middle, mm. like to try to stay. Bottom like of where, the middle, were you the star baiting? Game, the game wants to kind of help you, yeah. and you're like, oh, oh wait, poor oh, little poor guy, me. have right. a star. That's and actually it, our problem, is, or Gavin's problem, is he'll always come out in front, and then get completely fucked by the game. Mm -hmm. I love Mario Party. It's so sad when you play the old Mario Parties to realize how much they fucked it up now, like how mm. is it, shit Yeah, now it can't you be like Bowser or something? It's Well, Bowser's kind of neat, although like he's a little OP because he's fucking Bowser. Wow. But um, it's neat that you can add a fifth person. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it, the star clusters are the most bullshit mechanic ever. Like, I'm going to go through a cloud of stars, and I'm just going to get a bunch of stars. You don't have to pay for stars anymore. You just, like, luck through a cloud of them. Then you can do a thing where you reverse and luck back through the same cloud and get even more stars. It's such bullshit. I hate it. Mario Party 8 was the last great Mario Party. Yeah, does it still have motion controls? No, Mario Party 8 was the... The, well, so yeah, they're all on the Wii U. Yeah, awful. Yeah, and well, Mario Party 8's on the Wii. Just all awful. Yeah, terrible. Um, yeah. So we need to make Mario Party great again. No, Mario Party, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> Mario Party 8 had like all the ones where you just like shake the Wii what, mode. What do you do? So yeah. good. You should, that's what you do. <laughs> that is what you do. I have a video of all four of us just going for it. Um, and that's how Shake Wake came to be. Yeah, Mario Party. So. Actually, I have been playing a lot of something recently, which is Dead by Daylight. Have you guys tried that out yet? No. Every yeah. Every time... I launched Steam to play Stellaris. Uh -huh. You're playing Dead by Daylight. I've only played it, I think, twice on a stream, so. Yeah, but how much are you playing? He, he's saying, like, even in your Steam oh, friend Oh, you launched Steam. Got Steam. it. Right. Steam. Uh, we've Steam. done, like, Steam. He doesn't Steam. watch your Twitch streams, nah, baby, I mean, no. Oh, so, Gus, you make me sad. Um, I think we, we're not playing that much of it. It's usually pretty quick games, but... Um, 
Okay, but I tell think me we've the only concept. done. Tell me about it. We've done like four Let's Plays in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I like being the monster. Okay. Is it Go like four? Figure. Is it four v one? Is it like asymmetrical? Yeah, it's asymmetrical four v one where you've got four survivors that need to turn on generators by uh, basically you just kind of hold the left mouse, but you have the quick time event kind of happen at random intervals through it. Okay. That if you don't succeed, uh, it uh, notifies essentially the monster where you are. So okay. uh, the other interesting mechanic to it is the survivors are all in third person and the monsters in first person, oh, neat. which, yes, hooray for first person. That was so weird, is Ashley Poor here? Ashley. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that was so weird, is Ashley here? I was super confused. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, I'm here, the, pa the, the panel can start. Welcome first person. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about, yeah. Did, did this didn't all come from us, did it? This uh, is from the free play. you guys. Yeah, the free play person. Yeah, no. Where else does it ever come I was, from? I was, like, I was like, hmm. Confetti. Mm. Yes. Well, it smells probably, like free play. I wonder if I left stuff in the rafters they, again. No joke, probably. they had to clear the room and get a scissor lift up there to get it out of the rafters because they were worried it was going to catch fire, We Ryan. should consider doing that in the studio. Yeah. Because every time someone jumps really hard, more confetti falls out of the it's lights. It's so good. It's like our, it's like our history comes yes, down I've a little Yes, I've left a bit of free play here for no. the next, well, the, for the foreseeable next generation. future. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about Dead by Daylight. You played that one yet? No. Nope. No, nope, it's fun. You guys should talk about Dead by Daylight, though. We will. First person if you're the monster. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Woo! Uh, but it's really, it, it's amazing how, as the monster, you can just walk right by somebody. Which, as the survivor, you have a, me a mechanic where if the monster's close, you start hearing a, a heartbeat. Oh, it gets louder okay. and louder and faster as the monster gets closer to you. So it's real stressful, and you just have to, basically your only defense is either to run away, and then there's things you can pull down behind you to try and knock into the monster, or you can... Classic uh, chase sequence. Classic chase sequence. Or you can just be very still and crouch and just hide and hope that you are more of a bush uh, than the monster can notice, uh, which That's all works. I've ever wanted, Ryan, is yeah. to be more of a bush I've than a monster wanted, could ever notice. Uh, deep in the shrubbery. Um. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so how big is this monster? Like, how much bigger than you? There are three options. They're usually about, yeah, I'd say 150% human size. Oh, that's not so bad. No, I mean, they're not like, it's not like it's a It's not ball. like Godzilla. No, it's more okay. think more like a horror stalk, stalker movie. That seems to be the tropes that they're working with. There's, right. What? Jason. Jason, yeah, Jason. one of them is, uh, well, he's not really got a machete, but he's got the mask. Oh, okay. Uh, and then one of them has, uh, they've all got different, there's three monsters, they all have different abilities, too. So you can level up different kind of uh, monster gameplay. Uh, so it's Evolve-ish, but, like, not. Yeah, I wouldn't, it's I, very I, I different feel bad, like, a lot of games are not going to, they won't want to be compared to Evolve, because yeah. they're like, yeah, that was a stinker. <laughs> like, that one, like, it just, like, it didn't sell. No one wants to be compared to a game that didn't sell, no I matter how similar mechanics might be. They, Evolve just put out too many betas. Everybody was done with the game before well, they actually got it. And about 16 and, and different ways to download exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, do you too. have any idea how to buy Evolve even now? We did a news um. story, and I still don't know. We, like, ran down all the different ways. If you want this monster, you'll have to pay for this. Oh, it was right. so bad. Yeah, that was way too confusing. It was so confusing. I will say um, for... Nope, I won't say, because I <laughs> completely forgot what just I was... That, yeah, it's, just, you know, it's the confetti. It's star. Fun. Thanks, buddy. You're I just a champion. Was scared the star cloud. It's a oh, star. Star. could you imagine what it would be... Fuck star clouds. Well, uh, oh, thank you. Could you imagine what it would be like if it had biometric input, something like that, where as, oh. you got, as the monster got closer to you, if your heart weight rate elevated, it would like light you up more, so you'd have to try and calm down that and be, would be like, like, for real. That would be so cool. When Gabe Newell was talking about that like three years ago, how they were like, Val was like experimenting with biometric input. Oh, I got so excited. We feel like there, we already have a lot of that technology, right? Like people wear Fitbits yeah. and that's a Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. Like Absolutely. why wouldn't you be able to transmit that data to your And so many people seemed like they were working on games like that. Where are they? Where did they go? Well, I think they all discovered that it's real hard to get a consistent heartbeat. Remember when we tried to yeah. do that? We tried oh to do God, something similar for Stupid heart rate monitor. We tried to make yeah. our own where it was like you wear a heartbeat monitor and whoever's the heartbeat the, is it like the one that goes around the chest? Yeah. yeah. And we couldn't get it to ki give us a consistent heart rate. Mm -hmm. Although that one might have been shit because we were like, which is the cheapest? Uh, <laughs> so. Did, so, I mean, Nintendo, they had a few years ago at E3, didn't they have that initiative with like Wii Health? Yeah, with, it was like, going to be like a bedside thing, right? right? The heart rate gonna, sensor? Yeah, it was going to sit by your bed. It was going to be like a nightstand. And they just thing. ended up shelving that. Like, I don't yeah. think that ever came They're out. They're going to make a well, Wii like, Fit nightstand? Well, I feel like there's a lot of stuff from Nintendo that we may not have seen yet. Because um, they've definitely talked uh, in the last year or two more and more about 
um, going outside of gaming specifically and more into lifestyle and health, they must have been like, yo, we Fit was so cool that like we can change lives, man. All right, to be fair, I lost like eight pounds playing We Fit one summer. I'm like, not knocking it. It's I'm amazing. They saw the results and they also saw that it sold. Well, it it did that. I feel like a lot of that stuff is dying. Like Microsoft announced that they're closing down Xbox Fitness. And, and there's a new Hold dashboard on, can I, can now I, can where I say voice it? controls don't work. It got ripped. Is that real? We're, we're, oh, Gavin yeah. said yesterday. Yeah. Gavin That's came right. home and I said, "Connect is not working." And he said, "Oh, I updated to the, I upgraded to the new dashboard. It doesn't have voice controls." And I what? was not pleased because Wait, I only yell at our Xbox. We, I, we, yeah, like I, we have uh, one Xbox that does have Connect and one that doesn't, and I'm constantly yelling at the one that doesn't, and then getting mad that it won't listen to me. <laughs> Why won't you listen to me, Xbox? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, it's, I have a, that's my bad relationship. It's just one of my consoles. <laughs> yeah, I'll never, if it's the true, because that's what he said last night, and I was like, that. There, is, there's a setting for it. Maybe it just got maybe. disabled. Maybe I just was, re I was like, I'm never upgrading. Uh, well, I don't know I mean, that. We definitely been, got it. So that it, may it have been, exists. I mean, now that they're rolling basically the Connect out of existence, uh, that may have been something they'd elected to do just to save on CPU cycles. I will say, I, 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 I did. To mine, so. I did yell at my Xbox three or four days ago and it worked. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know when your it was. This was happened. last night. Okay, so he yeah. said it was like, oh yeah, I just updated. But my one upstairs, which I use, is mine. I would never update now if that's true. It still worked. I yelled at it and it worked. So um, sometimes- I don't talk to it normally. <laughs> I have a, I don't when, 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 sorry, I'm gonna, I got a quick side story for this. Yeah. Yes. Whenever my wife is mad at our dogs, like if they're not eating, she'll like make a hissing noise at them. Like, go eat your dinner. Oh, okay. And, um, she was trying to talk to our Xbox a couple of weeks ago, like, you know, on our Xbox, watch ABC or whatever, like, trying to change the channel, and it wasn't listening, and she went, Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. Like, Did it shape up? I, no. <laughs> I do that with, uh, I make this noise, of eh, like, when I want, don't want Penny to do something, and sometimes Xbox will be like, oh, watch NBC, and I'll be like, eh, and it doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't recognize that that's not, and apparently now you have to say, hey, Cortana. Instead of just Xbox, which I thought was interesting. Wait, what? As well. Yeah, they're changing uh, the way that the voice activation works in the Connect, and they're trying to integrate Cortana, which yeah. I don't. That maybe. just seems like a marketing ploy to me. Like, no, absolutely. Could, maybe, but I also know that like you can't have a conversation about an Xbox with the Xbox in the room, That's or it true. starts like mm. it starts like trying to get all in on it. It's like no one was talking to you. Just like. Just sit so you see, if oh, anybody's watching Xbox. this live stream, right? Xbox, turn off. Yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know, but it's like that can happen just like accidentally. We've been having a weird problem in the house where because we've got the, the one Xbox that does have Connect and we use that like so if we're trying to watch um, Game of Thrones or whatever, it's like we do it vo basically by voice command. Uh, and we also have an Amazon Echo. Oh my God, oh. I was just about to say, that's the worst. And uh, we, so the other day we were trying to get onto the, the Game of Thrones uh, finale and, uh, and uh, Bernie's youngest, Teddy, comes over and starts asking Alexa all kinds of details about the current weather just because he thinks it's funny. And we're like, you. Because we'd be like, we'd be like, <laughs> Xbox, launch HBO. And he'd be like, what's the current weather? And then like, they would start cross crossing. Because mm -hmm. there's got to be like an etiquette now for voice command, right? Like, you just need to zip it until it's got its voice commands. And then, and then we'll like go between can, our devices that will that listen. Can you make them talk to each other? I don't That's know. That's a great we idea. We should could. do that. We, we should, should film that, like an up, Alexa. Like, facing each other. I will say that Alexa, like, chat like bots. I have unplugged Alexa. She is gone for our, from our lives forever now because Alexa butts the fuck in all the time. <laughs> I'm like, we should listen to Christmas music, and Alexa's like playing Christmas music. I'm, no one asked you, bitch. I will say your name. <laughs> When it's time for you, she, like, the Xbox every once in a while, if someone says the word Xbox, but Alexa is constantly, and it's so creepy, because I'll be like, man, I think we're out of paper towels, ordering new paper towels, and I'm like, you, I have, love oh, you have stepped over a line. Alexa's just like, please, I, Meg, why yes, won't you why love don't me? Why don't you love me? I just want to make your like, life better. I do like that you can ask her what's wrong with her. Like, sometimes she, she, she wasn't working, and we'd be like, Alexa, what the hell's wrong with you? And she'll be like, I appear to be functioning normally. Like, she <laughs> says things back to it, so it's like, oh. oh She's not great at jokes. But no. I was, I am impressed. If there's one thing Alexa's really, really good at, it's reordering stuff. <gasps> the, the voice recognition on that is amazing. The, uh, like, la a week ago, I was like, oh, the, you know, our, our garbage bags are low. And I go, Alexa, order more garbage bags. And she goes, 
the last garbage bags you ordered were, the, and she started, like rattles off all these yeah. details, and all I caught, like, because she was going off with like 30 seconds on the details of the garbage bags we ordered, and I was like, the 18 gallon ones, yeah. And she goes, <laughs> ordered. They arrived the next day, and I was like, this is I'll really tell you cool. that that's cool if you share Amazon Prime with someone, but it's Gavin's Echo and Gavin's Prime, and I just, what, am I going to oh. fucking order my paper towels on my Prime? I'm going to use the thing that's voice commanded. So he's like, the hell, I didn't order paper towels. And I'm like, thank you for paying for those. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, like, switch to be like, hey, Alexa, sorry, we're a couple, but we're financially independent. Could you switch to my Prime? You, that would be great. You would think that it would be able to recognize different My voice, voices. Yeah. Or even just the difference between like your voice and Gavin's voice. Yeah. Well, there's not much difference. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yes, I, you would think so, but it doesn't. It just orders everything off Gavin's. That's sort of my problem right now with the Xbox is, well, one, the Kinect is just, the little light on it just went, mm. and now it's gone. So I don't Aww. think it works any longer. But It that, might turn back on. Sometimes when we power cycle it, it stays off for like a week, uh -huh. and then it comes back on. Every now and again, it'll have a fitful little, uh, uh. <laughs> but, uh, It's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, help, please. So uh, this, is a, this is officially the first World Problems cast now, right? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> but uh, it's decided, the Xbox has decided that it will only w respond to my son's voice. So if oh. I wanted to do anything, I have to... Xbox, <laughs> follow you up, please. You fucking creep. <laughs> can I Although, have some more, sir? Yeah, he's like, please. <laughs> Though I will say, um, Xbox doesn't understand Gavin. So all, Gavin yeah. will, will be like, Xbox on. And then he just looks at me when it doesn't work. So I'm like, Xbox on. And then, Bloo! like, it always says it. He gets really frustrated. Yeah, it doesn't I, understand him. I wonder if you could use, uh, if you could use uh, the like, Xbox voice commands as almost like an accent trainer. Maybe that's how all those British actors who come and they're in American movies and you have no idea that they're British until you see them on an interview way later and you're like, wait, what? That guy that was on The Gossip Girl is actually, like, he's, he's The he's Gossip not Girl. Weird. I didn't buy your accent until you said volume up. Yeah, no, but that's how Dan, Dan uses the connect. We, we tell the story a lot of Dan playing Dead Rising with Gavin and you get, like, a bonus against the boss if you say phrases to, like, taunt the boss. And Gavin would be like, Dan, tell him he's crazy. And he'd be like, you're crazy. He uses, like, his American accent, so it'll do it, because Gavin, his American accent isn't good enough for him to be able to get the connect to understand he in a movie with Well, the... but he had a really, like, a southern draw, which it also doesn't understand, so. <laughs> um, he did lovely in that movie. He was great. I hope he's not in this panel. Um, <laughs> love you. Uh, no, but it, he doesn't, it doesn't understand him. So he gets, Dan's American accent is really good. So he gets Dan to do it for him. I, I should ask him to do it. I've never yeah. heard his American accent. Oh, Dan's well, American accent's won't. great. He, he does like this weird valley girl voice. He'll be like, everything is awesome. Like he like over pronounces things and like doesn't the back of his mouth. It's really funny. I got, I got, yeah, I'm going to check that out. I'm excited. You're crazy. I know he's here right now. You're crazy. He's at RTX. So I'll have to ask yes. him about that. Absolutely. Uh, but so uh, the last uh, episode of the patch, Ryan was not there because he was sick, apparently. Oh, Jerk. yeah. Apparently. Ryan, I got <laughs> so scared. We're, we're not sure we're buying it. That night after the patch, <clears throat> because I had, what did I, I had like cheese or something for lunch, which I'm not supposed to have, but then my tummy started hurting, mm -hmm. and I was like, no. But then I was fine. I was communicable. It was just cheese. Yeah. There we're was all a chance. Wait, no, was it? Yeah, no, because I was I came into work Monday. You so. did, and yeah. we we did something. We did the the That's farewell we, video yeah, on Monday. Uh -huh. We're all close to you, breathing your germs. Yes. Gross. So Thank gross. You. No, you, unless you had to clean up my uh, daughter's vomit, you're probably yeah. Safe. I was looking back to see Good when to the, our texts about your daughter's mm -hmm. vomit were to like calculate if I had gotten something yeah, from you. How many days? <laughs> yeah. How what your your incubation period yeah, exactly. was going to be? Exactly. So um, the the last time when you weren't there, I talked a lot about uh, how I've been playing a lot more VR games. Oh, yes. Yeah. And uh, one of the ones I talked about was Please Don't Touch Anything, which I gifted to you on yes, Steam. Yes, I thought that was so sweet. Thank uh, you, it's, uh, So I gifted you the, the 2D like Steam version. Yes. But uh, there's also a VR version, which I've been having a blast playing. But uh, since then, and I've talked to Ryan about this in person, Miles told me to try Battle Dome yeah, on the that. Vive. Go on. Which is... The, it's, it's the first time I've played a VR game, and I've been so into it that I lost my spatial orientation in the real world. Is this where you hit the wall? No, no, no. That was no, out that of ammo. No, that was throwing a grenade <laughs> something else. When different I was done with Battle Dome, I took the Vive off, and I was facing in a totally different direction than I thought I was. That would I make was. me so ill. But like, it's, it's, it's like an FPS. Well, it is an FPS, or it's a, a multiplayer, and I think it's two teams of four or two teams of five. I don't remember right now. But... You move by teleporting, like that teleporting mechanic that there is in VR right now. But you can only teleport to pieces of places on the floor that are painted your color. 
So uh, your character has two guns, a paint gun and a kill gun. So you have to paint the floor so you, can, you and your team can teleport around. You teleport, and then you shoot the other team with your gun. It's and like it, Splatoon, but like actually killing people? Right. Okay. And there's like boxes and obstacles. So you're like teleporting around the room and like trying to hide behind boxes and like shooting the other team. And then there's also elevation changes. So you're like, oh, I'm going to move up to the top floor and shoot down. And you're worrying about people getting behind you. It was so much damn fun. God, I wish I didn't have a stomach that sucked. It's like, it sounds fun. You get it just used to it. Just, just immerse like, yourself in it. I wonder if you can, like, take motion sickness pills I, That's before. what um, Joel and Adam were just telling me they did. Because they were doing VR for a how-to. And it was making them really sick, so they took Dramamine. And then they said it was fine. So I might actually try taking, like, Bonnie or something. So drug yourself to play games, everyone. Yes. That's like, that, that, that is a thing that works now. It's like doping. You're evil game players anyway, so you're probably all drug addicts and yeah. bad people anyway, right? <laughs> it's legal in some places. Um. Yeah, I've got a, I've, I've got a Dramamine problem. <laughs> I can't stop. Oh. You said you've been playing Out of Ammo too, right? Yeah, Out of Ammo that was, was a lot of fun. Yeah, the that's the one where I punched the wall by yeah. accident. It's, <laughs> it's, it's an interesting mechanic because it's, you know, tower defense, and then when shit goes wrong, you can possess one of your units, like, in the tower to then kind of like try to turn the tide of battle. You can also call in like artillery strikes from your, uh, your god view as well. It's, it's fun. Sounds cool. Yeah. I'm excited to try it. Don't, please don't touch anything. I'm really we, excited to try it. The, the 2D we, we versions. We're going to record Teddy. We're gonna, I want to film him, and I want to see how long he lasts. Like over under, I'm thinking 10 seconds. Oh, you can It's, it's either going to be 10 seconds or it's going to be hours. Wait, there's in no in VR, between. you mean? Yeah. Uh. Okay. In mm. VR, what do you think you want Wait, to do? Wait, does he get sick? Or do you think No, I'm my like over it? under on Teddy pushing the button. Oh, it, pushing it, the button, yes. yes. Is, is, it's either going to be like 10 seconds, it's going to be immediate, or a couple of hours. Just you think he'll sit there? Because the there's well, nothing else no, to do. No, other stuff happens. Gus if you says, wait, okay. Yeah, Gus it, said other if stuff you happens. wait a little while, something happens. Yeah. Yes. Ryan. But, all you right. You know, I, I was just, I just was spinning in my chair trying to push everything, but eventually <laughs> of I was like, you were. yeah, there's, I think in the VR version, there's 30 different endings. And I think in the Steam version, there's like 25 or something. Plenty for me. It's a lot of fun. And I played uh, the Steam version, the non-VR version, and it's, uh, it's, it reminds me even more of Papers, Please. Yes. It definitely has that same uh, visual aesthetic. I'm very mm. excited. Very excited. Should we take questions? Yes. Yeah. I mean, if anybody has any question, if you want to line up, I don't know if we're there's, there's a mic over there. there and there's one over there's there. A mic over there. there. Wow. That yep. line and is instantly full. Uh -huh. no, if you're at the end of that, uh, no, no, okay. No, there's no time. No, they're cutting. So over. we only have about 30 minutes to go in here. Uh, we're gonna do our best to get to everyone. We may not do it. I think is someone wearing maybe, a dog coat. Yeah, it's like the a end. big collar. Oh no, it's a it's a collar. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was a shark fin when he was turned to the Oh, and speaking, also, speaking of dogs, Butt Sniffing Pugs is back. I saw it. It's here on the floor of RTX. They're, they're Definitely check again. it out. You guys played it? Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We've talked about that game so much. So if you haven't had a chance to play it yet, go down there and play it. Yes. Really fun game. Do you want to start over there? Sure. What game do you guys absolutely love playing that you're horrible at? All of like them, everything. pretty much, yeah. yeah. I'm terrible at every game. It's really sad. Games that I love you know, to play you, that yeah, I'm horrible at. You got some good at. ones. You get some papers, pleases, and things like yeah. that. I'm really good at games. I, 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 I just games. click the right. question. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go pro in papers, please. <laughs> <laughs> Overwatch. I'm not great at Overwatch, but I do love playing it. Did you play uh, the most recent weekly brawl, which was you could only play as Pharah or Mercy? No. Yeah, it was awesome because it took the game vertical. Oh, so yeah. The game was just Pharah's hovering around and Mercy's darting around the map. So That's really like, cool. Yeah, nobody was on the ground. If you were on the ground, you were dead. So uh -huh. the whole game was just up in the air. It was really a cool game type. That's an awesome idea. The game that I love to play that I'm bad at is Halo. I played Halo 4 multiplayer with my friends forever. And um, just I love it, um, but I am terrible at it. And I only play SWAT because SWAT's the best. And Flood. I do also love Flood. Once you play SWAT and you go back to like playing like regular Halo, you're like, I've shot you 700 times. How are you not dead? So. Yeah, I could play some SWAT. SWAT, oh, let's play SWAT. Yeah, let's do it. Oh my god, let's, like, let's actually play SWAT. Can we hang out sometime? Yeah, guys? let's do okay. it. Okay. 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 Hi. The, the sad part is we live like really close to each <laughs> other. Hi, 
um, for the Patch Game Club, what is your favorite game to play, and what game do you, like, hate whenever you had to play it? Sunset. 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 Selling on Rising. Uh, yeah, I haven't even played that boyfriend. one <laughs> I mean, we, we made that show just for the one video to torture yeah. Ryan. Mm. Game that I loved to play, I loved um, God Save the Queen or Long Live the Queen. Oh, that was, that was a great game. That was really fun. Bastion was fun. Uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. That was a game, game club, right? Yeah, we played some really great games. It seems to go one of two ways. There aren't a lot of games that we end up ambivalent about. Mm. We're either like, this was a really great game. So happy we played this. Or like, who submitted this? You're banned. I will kill you. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, we uh, still, we're still trying to find out who submitted Selling on Rising. We have a theory. The theory is that it's Peyton, and that no he didn't way. put his name on it because he's fucking banned. No way. Let me tell you that I talked to Peyton. Peyton edited Free Play for a long time, so I feel like I've gotten to know Peyton pretty well. Uh -huh. um, he was so heartbroken. You guys banned him from game. Like, genuinely, like, Aww. when he picked his game, he was like, you're going to love it. He suggested Undertale, which is an amazing game. Great game. Yeah. Right. That, that's probably my favorite game. I would play video games. Yeah, and so he was, like, riding high from that. We got his game again. He was like, you're going to love it. I was out during the game club. He was like, I'm, like you should definitely really play it. I really think you're going to love it. And then everyone hated it. And, like, the next week, he was like, hey. <laughs> the best part, so the best part about that, though, amazing. I mean, not to be, like, take too much joy in soul crushing, except that I, that I do. But the best part is that game wasn't that bad. It's just like really fun to torture Peyton. Yeah. Uh, if I had to guess, if it were like million dollars, if I could guess, Caden, I would say Caden. We should look at all of their Steam profiles and see who's played it. Yeah. Ooh, oh, we can do that. All right. All right. Now we're gonna, we're going to solve this. Yeah. Don't tell them. Yeah, nobody tell. <laughs> it might be someone um, in broadcast too. Secret. Who knows? All right. Thank you. Um, from what you've seen in D3, what are you most excited for? We happy few. I have like, like really, already all really the time. surprised, but uh, um, God of War for me. I don't even like. I'm not That's huge into that franchise in the past. Like it hasn't been the one that I'm like. I'm like, oh yeah, I wouldn't bang the checks. Um, I mean, that's <laughs> fun, but uh, it's like it, it wasn't one of my standout franchises. But after seeing that gameplay demo, I'm like, if you pull a goddamn brothers on me, I will end you. <laughs> I've met the developers. I can do that now. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, probably uh, Star Trek Bridge Simulator is what I'm really looking forward to because I like <laughs> VR titles. So what uh, what what class are you gonna be? Uh, class. Uh, class. <laughs> I think I either go for tactical or captain. He's a, he's the captain. Don't even try and play it down. You've always been like, I'm gonna be the captain. I'll be the captain. <laughs> yeah. Ensign, get me a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> We should get you like an Anovos like outfit you can wear uh, when you're like. All velour. Yeah. Kiff. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's hard to say. I, I feel like I saw a lot of things I really liked, but I think I'm always really interested in developers who are doing new things and new IPs. So I was really interested in Days Gone. Oh just yeah. I, I like seeing a really new IP. Cool. Um, so. They're freakers, I, not zombies. Right. Yeah. Freakers. So uh, I feel like we've the, the zombie genre is a little played out. They're. Zombies. Yeah. I mean, they're zombies. Guys. They're but, fast zombies. Uh, I'm Please. still really curious to see how that how that works out. Hello. Oh. Hi there. Hello. Um, my question is about how you guys had a special guest, Matt Pat, on your most uh, recent E3. Uh, even the year before, you had a special guest. And he always wears a red jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was like the Michael Jackson sort of jacket. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so do you guys have any plans to incorporate other internet content creators around video games to be on the patch? Um, and sort of an extension, Meg, I know you're gonna be like parting from Rooster Teeth. Uh, will you be that special guest too? Uh, or will you be continuing Yeah guys, will I be the special Meg guest? Is, Meg is uh, always, our next year. Meg is always our special Thank guest. You. I'll just. Yeah, you, I think if but seriously, look, we will need your key card. And yeah, just... exactly. We're going to need your gun and your badge. Um, yeah, if you ever look in the background and I'm like plastered up against, you see a figure, it's me. Like, please, I would like to come back. Uh, I think we always have had the idea that we wanted to do that. Uh, we've just been really bad about it. So, yeah, absolutely. Hey, what are you doing on Wednesday? <laughs> uh, and uh, the trick, too, though, is like finding someone that like really gels with us because, um, you know, we're a lot less formal than like other game, like industry types. So like that's very limiting. Um, and then, you know, they're it's, it's great to get like other um, gameplay content creators from YouTube in when we can, assuming they have time. They always seem to be like running around like crazy people, like filming, I don't know, Anchorman fights against each other whenever they're, uh, they're <laughs> um, at the studios. But yeah, it's like finding someone that fits with us and that gets us and that we like and that, Meg, are you available? 
Hi. <laughs> please, please love me still. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Heart you. Heart you. Hi. So, uh, how you doing? Hi. You, you good? Or? Nice weather today, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for, for summer in he's, Austin, this isn't that he's bad. He's suffering from heat stroke. Quick, get him some water. Hey, I'm from Texas, too, so. Feel you. What's up, man? Um, what, what was your least favorite game of E3? Oh, hmm. least favorite oh, game of E3. Least favorite game of E3. I mean, the problem oh, with E3 oh, oh, is oh, that oh, no oh, games... Oh, 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 okay. oh, oh. Okay. Oh, Gus? Oh, oh. He's got All something. Right, Gus? I didn't play it. So I'm going to preface it with that. That stupid extreme sports game that Ubisoft closed their oh coffee with. Oh, my God. With. Peak? What's it called? Steep. Steep. Peak. Um, I tweeted, like, or I was saying in the, I think I tweeted about it, too, like, this is what you guys are going to, like, hang your hat on. And I got shit on by everyone. I was like, well, maybe it's not your game. Well, then that's why on my Twitter I said it looked fucking boring because yeah. it's my Twitter. <laughs> like, I was, look, you can go to another mountain. I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> did not think that yeah, looked it, cool it, at all. That, that was a weird choice for me to, to, to be, like like you said, like the, the, the ender end yeah. for, their, for their conference. And then they all came out. Like, that whole press conference was really weird because it then they all came hours. out. And they were like, hey, we're Ubisoft. Goodbye. Like, that was, a, it should have been like, and also, like, that's how you preface that. Although it made sense when we found out they were being bought out by Vivendi, and this maybe is their last E3 of, like, look, it's Eve Gimo. So, yeah, maybe, I don't know. We'll see about that. Eve. Eve. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, so my question actually goes to, uh, essentially, with games expiring, do you feel like EA pooling servers and things of that nature? Are there any titles that you've, like, oh, I'll go back to, and you weren't able to, either it wasn't on Steam, it wasn't available for some reason? I mean, that's, happened, that's happened a lot, but mostly because, like, a lot of the old games, I'm like, oh, I should play that again, and it's like, oh, my CG-ROM is, like, it's so gone. <laughs> um, you know, and, it, like, it's mostly, for me, games that never make it to digital. Like, for, like, while servers getting pulled and all that is, a, like, a serious issue, I think that digital is actually a way better way to keep track of games long-term, because I don't think the Internet's likely to go away I mean, you know, not in the next year or two anyway. Yeah. So, uh, Mine's like, CMP. and that, the best part is the internet's there. The internet's always there. I don't have to wonder what box it's in, like in some crazy storage unit. I can get to it. Well, just wait till we have, like, internet two and internet three, and you're like, damn it, which internet is it on? <laughs> well, I mean, are, are, have we, like, we all, we passed web 2.0. So do we have any idea what oh, point we're Web 2.0 is a different thing. That was just a stylistic guy line for web design, all right? Yes. But, uh, it's getting saucy up here. Web, web 2.0 is what gave us all the shiny buttons. That was the main thing. They're well, like, look, everything's glossy wasn't, now. Wasn't Web 2.0 when uh, you started having like custom home pages and stuff? Like, so that it'd be like, you know, like Facebook was a Web 2.0 because your Facebook was different than my Facebook. Nah. Except when I was logged in on your Facebook. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the, the Wait, you're blowing my mind. I still have a Facebook. <laughs> is that? I thought that was called MySpace still. Oh. The yeah, other that's, that's a music platform now. <laughs> The other problem I have is... Did you say uh, shut up? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm trying to answer his question. The other problem I have is when I try to play old games that don't run on new hardware anymore, like on the PC side of things, where it's like, yes. oh, this game was tied to the clock speed of the processor, and now it runs like a billion times way too fast. Or Weren't there like yes. mods or something that would like overload your processor to mm -hmm. slow your computer down enough to play those games? Yes. Yeah. There, was old, there was an old DOS application. I forget even what it was called, but yeah, it would just load up your CPU cycles until it was like choked it down. It's like, it's like fuck my computer. Done. <laughs> and now play a game. Yeah, I had that happen actually with uh, a, a two games that I talk about a lot. Loving, they really ignited my PC gaming love, and those are the Seventh Guest and the Eleventh Hour. They both run out of a DOS prompt. So when I was on Windows XP, hello, 1999, um, it doesn't run on. You can't get to a DOS prompt. I had to download a program that like faked a DOS prompt to be able to. You, I had the CD. You still can't run the CD, so you'd have to like fake a DOS prompt, and then it'd be, the CD would be like, ah, yes, DOS, to be able to play the game. <laughs> I'm like, home. Yes, exactly. So thankfully, they're both on Steam now, because it was a whole shit show trying to get those to run. 640K of memory, just the right amount. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what's like an underground game that people might not have heard of that you want to recommend? So there's this game. It's called Stardew Valley. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, that's right. The faithful here. Um, yeah, I don't know, like uh, the the really good ones tend to blow up via word of mouth, thankfully. Yeah, I can't Stardew think, Valley, check it out. Can't think of anything underground. I mean, usually. It's, and it's, it's on, on sale, sale until yeah, until like it's cost two turnips. You yeah. put them in the box out back, and then they give you the game. Uh, I can't think of anything really underground that hasn't. I mean, usually it comes to our awareness because it kind of blows up. That's a, the word of mouth is such a big thing now, and both uh, for indie developers. So I mean, look at like like Undertale, mm -hmm. a game like that could have faded into obscurity, but word of mouth is what got it traction, and now it's this phenomenon. I will say to piggyback on my last answer, Seventh Guest and Eleventh Hour are amazing <laughs> games. They're both I underground. Think the first yeah. Well, Seventh Guest, I mean, like, came out in 1992, so, was, like... It was huge when it came out, I it, remember. It was, it was like, deal. just but because hey, it's old doesn't mean it's the forgotten, The very Meg. first game to come out on CD-ROM, okay? They have a whole <laughs> documentary about how CD-ROM is going to change the world um, in relation to Seventh Guest. Um, so those are both really cool for a younger audience that certainly had no clue. Um, but also a game that we played at E3 called Move or Die <laughs> is, like, my new favorite obsession. Definitely played. It is the most fun game ever. And I like, I, I've been talking about the past couple of weeks, but I loved Please Don't Touch Anything. I considered it underground because I hadn't heard of it. Apparently, it was already a popular game. A lot of people knew about it. It just, I hadn't, it, it hadn't reached me yet. So, play it. It's 99 cents on Steam sale right now. Yeah. Sorry, I only spent 99 cents on you, Meg. No, oh, that's fine. I didn't, I didn't even put two and two together because I'm dumb. So, I was like, <laughs> oh, yay, 99 cents. That's awesome. Hello. Hi. Do you have any favorite books you would love to see as a video game? Ooh. Snow Crash. And okay, so. Yeah. Snow Crash. <laughs> and what style of game would that video game be? Obviously an RPG. Like um, Of what book? Of what series? What? Snow Crash. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's one of my favorite books of all time, and I would love to play an RPG set in like a Snow Crash universe. It would be so fucking awesome. I want to say Ready Player One or, you know, like a sword art would be really cool, obviously. Um, but can I get like an Outlander visual novel? Because that would be like, that would be super good. Sam Squanch. Yeah, can I love Ryan you. Play. Ryan will narrate all of both parts. We'll get Tyler in. Oh, Bonnie. <laughs> Musasanak. Musasanak. <laughs> yeah. Why I not? think we could, okay, we can use a lot of books into games. It would be super awesome in the worldwide. Dresden Files would be God, sick. Yeah, I was going to say that one, yeah. Right? Um, and another one that I would actually kill for uh, would be the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. That's if awesome. you take that, right? Good taste, guys. But if you took that and used um, mechanics like, uh, what was it, uh, Infamous? Um, mm -hmm. You know, like, it was kind of, I mean, it's kind of super powery, like, when you get into it. So if it, it controls like that, oh, man, it'd be sweet. Yeah. For those That's of you who don't know, like Mistborn, it's like you have superpowers, but like you burn a metal and then you get some power based on what metal you, you burn like in your stomach. So you can either like push away from, it's all, like a lot of it's magnetic. So can you can like push away from metal mm -hmm. or pull towards metal or um, like affect people's emotions, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. That would be really cool. That was called, so, I was called the right Force. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Take it easy, force Jedi. Force pull, force push. Uh, you guys, I also, I, I, I feel like I'm lucky because I actually got to play some versions of that, essentially, because well, I used to be a big fan of both uh, Shadowrun and Battletech. So those were great series that translated into video games. Not the multiplayer Shadowrun, but the uh, the, the smaller, I guess you're a big uh, fan the of The Harebrained Schemes Shadowrun yes, series. Yeah. So good. Those yeah, were well, really, really like, fun. Like, like Baldur's Gate um, had the yeah. had the crossovers. Um, they're, they're, they're work, they're, don't do it as much anymore, mm -hmm. I feel like. The, like. There were a lot of, there used to be more like Forgotten Isle stuff that's not. Yeah, that is no longer translated. Well, now it's, they probably, I think they, like Wheel of Time game was a real turd. Uh, a lot of those attempts to translate books into games have not gone well. Even the, you know, uh, several early iterations of the Shadowrun games were also really not great, so. Uh, it's it's hard to translate one of those large literary universes that you would want to play into a smaller game experience. Sure. The Witcher, the sure. Witcher. Was that a sure. novel? Yeah, The Witcher. Cool. Yeah. What was I, the novel called? The, the Witcher. Witcher. <laughs> it's called The Witcher. It's called okay. The Witcher. You said it like that. Uh, <laughs> Geralt, of, Geralt of Rivia gets lots of laid. Oh, get lots of laid. All right. Yeah. The Ryan Haywood story. Uh, <laughs> hi, MK Ultra. I could see you Hello. doing a Witcher cosplay. Yeah, he would be great. Think so? Yeah. yeah. I just needed the yellow eyes and a scarf. I, I want to see it next year. All right. <laughs> Parade for me. That'll never happen. I'm way too lazy to put that together. What up, MK? 
Hey guys, um, so uh, like you guys were saying before, uh, like older games you can't really run on current systems and with Crash Bandicoot coming back and Ratchet and Clank earlier this year, is there any game you would love to see be remastered? Mm. Oh, I'm already looking forward to the uh, Bioshock returning to... Yes, the Bioshock collection. Yeah. Which after the last patch, we didn't have a release date, but it's September. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's still too recent. Like, I still know Bioshock. that universe. Well, right. I never yeah, played no, Bioshock 2, so I'm looking forward to the remaster coming out so I can actually play 2. Which I'm a nervous 2 got maybe. really, well, that's what everybody says. 2 got such bad word of mouth to me that I just never decided to play it. it but though everybody's like, Miner Minerva's Den, best thing uh, in Bioshock. But you have to, you know, you have to buy 2. So, I'm sorry to say you have to buy 2. Yeah. Um, game, there's a game nobody gives a shit about except for me called Joe and Mac from the Super Nintendo. I, I love that game so much, I cosplay, there's only like one girl in the, the whole game, and it's just like random bitch that meets you at the end of the level. It's just like random slut that comes out at the end. Wow, and damn. And she's like, they're all like skimpily dressed, they kiss someone they've clearly never met before. I'm not judging their life choices. I cosplayed as one. I was like, yes, I will find a way to cosplay this. So I love Joe Mac, and I wish that that would be like a, it's like you just battle dinosaurs basically. It's like Cuphead, sort of. Hmm. You just battle dinosaurs, so I would do that again. That'd be awesome. I'm up for any remaster of a game I've never played. Like, I feel like there's so many games that I've missed. And the two you named, I never have played Crash Bandicoot or Ratchet and Clank. So I'm, I'm definitely down for remasters of those. So I can play them, because they're games that are so influential to so many people. Yeah, um, games that um, I would want to remaster just so that I could play them again and have the experience that I remembered like as I had it would be the longest journey. They've made um, since then they've made like 3D versions and then there was like a like an episodic thing and they're talking about finishing it in novels. But for me the first one was v like formative. It was an amazing point and click adventure game. So I just want that game, but I want it in beautiful high definition. I want to experience um, the the worlds the the way I remember them mm -hmm. because like I tried to go back and play it and it was like. Tiny, it ran, like ran in a window. You can't really even full screen. If you do, it looks awful. I don't even know. It was maybe 640 by 480, um, if I was lucky. And it, like at the time, it was awesome. And I remember looking at it and being like, "Oh God, everything's so beautiful." I tried to go back and went, "Ooh." So I had to like I had to quit because I didn't want to ruin my memory of the game. So I'd like that, please. That's actually you saying that makes me really think that I would love to see a uh, an update or a remaster of the Wing Commander series, just because mm. they are ugly. Let, let me let me talk to you about the Church of Star Citizen. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a do moment not, for Robert I'm Space Industries? Looking forward to that if they ever release it. Do not let him talk to you about the Church of Star Citizen. <laughs> I'll end up buying like get, three you can, ships. You can that be I saved for only seven, uh, several hundred dollars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like Scientology. Thank you guys. Thanks, yeah, MK. Thank you. Uh, so this question is mostly directed at Ryan, but not exclusively so. I was wondering if you played Warframe, since it's kind of like Destiny, not really. but they actually give you the story. No. So I like that was that. A, that Sorry. Was a well done. Uh, no, no, I really haven't played that much Warframe. I get uh, people recommend it frequently. I maybe I've got it conf confused in my head with something else, but I was that it's a free-to-play game that mm -hmm. it's mainly just FPS. It's like third-person shooter. It's, it is basically a lot like Destiny with like different guns and different classes that you can, well, I guess classes aren't really Destiny. Because right? no. Ryan really loves Destiny. Except they actually give you the story <laughs> in the game. I'll try That's it. what Ryan thought was missing you're on the hook. Destiny. <laughs> I'll Thanks, getting Don't do it's over here. No, oh. no. Oh. You guys should fight now. Fight. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Hi. Hello. What video games are the most nostalgic for you? Wing Commander. X-Wing. Uh, for me, it's always uh, A Link to the Past. The, easily the best Zelda game of all time. I will fight you, Ocarina people. Um, it's so good. I'll fight you, too. Um, <laughs> I hate Wind Waker. So, so good. And I go back and play it all the time. Um, for me, it's, uh, it's probably missed, largely because... Yeah, um, mostly because that's the game that um, I remember getting it for Christmas, playing it, and that's when I started to identify as a gamer. Like, this is a pastime that I enjoy. I'd played, you know, I'd, I'd played Nintendo, I'd played Super Nintendo, I'd played Nintendo 64, um, and that was just, like, something that I did and something that was really fun. Uh, but then that was the game where I was like, I think this is the thing. 
I think we, I think, uh, I think it could go a long way. This here. is gonna be big. This yeah. is gonna be, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and here we are. When so. I uh, when I, re I I received X Wing for a birthday. I think it was my 14th birthday, and uh, I got it. Like I had a birthday party. I had like a couple of my my only couple of friends that I had at the time over, and we're having like a party, and uh, a party. I I unwrapped X Wing as my gift. I was like, sweet. I'll see y'all later. I left them. I left my own party to go install X-Wing and play it. You would. I was like, I don't need these people. I got a fucking so video game. This makes so much more sense. I talked to your sister yesterday, and so much more makes sense now. <laughs> you told me that story. We have uh, nine minutes left, so we should lightning round the next couple of questions. Eh, we Thank got, you. We got plenty of time. <laughs> plenty of time. What's up? When are you going to do more mobile games? Oh. Um, yeah, when are you guys going to do more mobile games? <laughs> Uh, my problem with mobile games is always that I use my phone for work so much, I feel like when I play games on it that it just burns my battery. And I'm always worried, like, I'd rather have my phone ready for, like, for work, for social media, and not for games. But now I'm really old, I just realized. I want my phone for work and not for games. I mean, I mean there's um, a couple of mobile games that I really liked that aren't available on other platforms. I loved, uh, or that weren't. Um, like, Monument Valley was an amazing mobile game. It was an awesome experience. Um, but there's a lot of games that I play on mobile that are also available on PC, so that tends to be the um, the context in which we like discuss them. Like, you must build a boat. Yeah, it's on both. Uh -huh. um, you know, or uh, like if Civ came out for um, was it Civ Civ Civilization Rev? Revolution. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's versions of that of that um, for mobile, but mostly I just don't want mobile to like muscle in too far on my 3DS life. So. I need it to like n stop being successful, and I'm gonna I'm gonna single-handedly smother it so that eventually they will bring Fantasy Life 2 to 3DS. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the one that launched the Engage. Uh, what, what's your What's your favorite mobile game? What's your favorite mobile game? Oh, she's gonna run over that. Yeah. What What, what is the, what's the mobile your game you like the most? Are you thinking? Okay. Picky. Okay. okay. Well, do you think? You, did you have an answer? Were you going to say something? Oh, I thought Ryan. Was. I, I, all I was going to say is uh, I used to I I would play more mobile games, so my kids stole my tablets. Diamond, <laughs> diamond, dig it. Diamond, diamond, diamond dig, dig it. it. All right. Never okay. heard of that. We'll have to get I'm going to look for it check right now. Check out Crossy Road. Check it out. I love Crossy Road. Yes. This one's for uh, Ryan and Gus. Will you be playing and discussing the new WoW expansion Legion on the patch? I feel so offended that I you mean, skipped over me because really. look, who who had story time with her mom on the patch for World of Warcraft? I just want you to know we're all really no, I get it. I'm not on the patch anymore. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> wow. Ouch. I'll be playing it by myself with my uh, with my mom. We'll make a clan or something, right? That's I the actually, thing. No joke, have. we have one. If you want to join our guild, oh. it's the Mega Nerds Guild. guild. My mom got all my stuff set up for me, so yeah. <laughs> I'm really interested in it, but I have a problem where I played Just so one. much World of Warcraft that it would be difficult to jump back in for me. Like my I, mom just shook her head. She's like, "I'll show you the world." <laughs> Oh, I would want to restart. Like I, 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 I played some of Cataclysm, but the world changed so much with Cataclysm that it would almost be like an alien world to me. At it this is. Point. It's hard when like Orgamar shifted around so much that you're like, you, you're like, I know where I'm going, and then you go somewhere and you're like, this is not where this used to be. So it's almost easier to start with like a fresh slate than it is to try and relearn. Yeah, but then it's like I'd have to grind through the no, whole you do. game again. Yeah. Although now or the game you could is just like, buy a level 100. Well, but now the game no, is I, like it gifts you. Like, so many levels. Like, I remember, like, working so hard to get to, like, 30 and 40, and it's, like, now it's, like, oh, two days later, here I am at 40. Like, it really tries to, like, push you through now. Yeah, so. I don't... That's difficult. So, I mean, the, the problem I've always seen is that early on in Vanilla WoW, you know, like when the cap was 60, you had to grind those levels, and you spent a lot of time there. That way you really learned yeah. your abilities, and you really learned how to play your class. You know, I know that they've streamlined a lot of that. They've removed a lot of abilities and tried to make it easier, but... But it does suck, because you don't have that familiarity. You're not looking at each ability as like, ah, oh, my right. new ability, what do you do? How do I use it? Yeah, you? when I played my Shadow yeah. Priest, I had like so many action bars. It's like I had, you know, some stuff macroed. Like my most commonly used thing was like, oh, in very rare situations, I may need to move my mouse over here and hit this. Like, it's like a command center, and yeah. you know what every one of those buttons do, and you're ready at any moment to hit, hit them. And then if you walk away for a week, you come back and you're like, what the hell is all this? Yep. I totally feel that. 
I, I, I don't play that much World of Warcraft, so probably not. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> I was going to say something else, but after you called my collar a dog collar, <laughs> and after someone else asked for an obscure game, I thought, okay, now I'm just gonna say the game that, uh, the, that I'm dressed as a character from. I recommend Deponia on Steam. I've played Deponia, thank you. Deponia. Deponia is so, mm. it's, it's about a, it's point a and point and click adventure game where basically the main character is a total freaking douchebag and you want him terrible, terrible things to happen to him and instead you help him out. Is he also a sick Wait, dog? Wait, are you that dressed as the do sir foot, douchebag or? or? No, I'm dressed as his evil twin. Uh, oh, great. Wait, he, <laughs> he's so already, is that like a nice person then? Or? Kind of. Okay, great. A kind of nice person. That's the opposite of a douchebag. Nice bag. to meet you, kind of nice person. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have a question about Civ VI. Uh, what do you guys think about it? And also the art style change. How do you guys feel about that? You know, people keep bringing the art style change up a lot as a bad thing. No, I don't One think it's a bad thing. I just think it's interesting. It's different. One of my favorite versions of Civ was actually Civilization Revolution. I felt like it was the first game that did, a, did, that did strategy on a console well. Um, and so seeing just almost like a little bit of nod to that kind of cartoony style, which aside from aging better over the long term is like, I don't know, kind of fun. Uh, I'm all about that. That's my big thing is like, it's cute and that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, Sorry. I'm, totally, I'm totally happy with it. I'm super excited to play the game. Uh, I'm most anxious to see how this like multi-tile city stuff works out. Yeah. I'm really mm -hmm. nervous about that. It'll be interesting, to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. That, that, that is like the evil. I haven't seen ever. much about it yet. So. <laughs> Hi. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Haywood Airlines Flight 2401. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Haywood, do you have anything to say to your lovely passengers before we depart? <laughs> give, give, give me 20 minutes and we'll be in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's that's an awesome, <laughs> awesome costume. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you could reveal anything that you've added recently to the Cylinder of Selection, and if not, what are you still anticipating to come up? We mm -hmm. haven't added anything for a while. It's I think been a problem, we, we, it was, actually. Yeah. We, we, how we you did, get um, Selen on Rising. Yeah. Now, now we got it. They're gonna like add a, like a billion of them just so that something to like choke that, that never one comes out. Up yeah. Again. Uh, we got to go through a series like audit and be yeah. like, who put this in? What? You're not going to take responsibility? Then it's out. Yes. Um, we, we need to be. We've talked about this recently, that we need to get together and add a bunch of stuff to it. So, I do know yeah. you guys like visual novels, so I would like to suggest no. Amnesia Memories for no. you. Oh. It's on sale on Steam right no, now. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You sit down. <laughs> no more. No more do visual you, novels. Do you date anything that's not human? Well, that's a shame. <laughs> Your one evangelist is now gone. Hello? Hey, hi. Um, is there any video games that you would love to have, like, an animated uh, adaptation as a series or a movie? Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we talked about it recently. I, I'd like to see Overwatch as a full-blown, like, animated series. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe uh, Skyrim would be fun. Sky what? <laughs> Skyrim. Skyrim. I, I normally don't like the idea of adapting video games to other narrative forms. Because I feel like the, telling a story via game is already the best way to tell a story, in my opinion. It, it grants the most freedom. It's not constrained by these arbitrary time limits. So if I'm going to experience a story, I would much rather experience it via game as opposed to television or movie. But that being said, an Overwatch series sounds fucking sick. Right? Yeah. Right? Right? But I guess there's really no story in that game. Yeah. No, it's the, so like the animated our, shorts, just the characters at that point. Yeah. Our time is up, yes. but let's lightning round through whoever's left standing. Okay, All right. Great. Real fast. Go. Questions okay. And okay. So, what are your interpretations of the Death Stranding trailer? Like, what do you think it means? Weird Ooh, as shit. That is not there's a no lightning round room. answer, my Sorry. friend. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it means Norman Reedus has a great ass. Yes. <laughs> Next. Next. Uh, this is for Meg Turney. I've uh, been a fan of you for like five years. What did you learn from SourceFed in, and using Rooster Teeth, and what are you going to use after you leave Rooster Teeth that you learned from there? Lots of office supplies that were stolen from the break room closet. Next question. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, do you think VR will be an everlasting genre, or do you think it will eventually die? <laughs> 
It'll no, be- they'll figure out a way to just plug the computer straight into our head. Next. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi, second question. Um, what is your favorite game on your most favorite console of all time? Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, and the SNES. That, Next that, question. That's probably my answer also, actually. Yeah, so good. Okay, um, my, first of all, Gus, thanks a lot for Avengers Academy. I'm obsessed with it. I, you and did. you're still not in it. I still Hawkeye play that, will never I st- be I in I still play game. that game all the time. It's fun. Uh, <laughs> um, I have a million notifications. Anyway, my question is, what do you guys think about the rise of mobile fitness apps instead of necessarily being on consoles? That's a thing? Yes. I, I, I mean, I think oh, like it's, fitness it's kind of the way to Absolutely. go, right? Yes. Zombies run? Yes. I'm mm-hmm. runner five right now. Oh, so. well, like, back up, because I'm also runner five. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I think it's, uh, it's smart. I think Very it's, smart. It's, it's the way things are going to move. Yeah, it, yes. it makes sense for it to go where you do. I mean, that's the whole point. Yeah. 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 Thank All you. Right. Last, last question. Last one. <clears throat> So you mentioned uh, having like a heartbeat monitor in video games to help uh, display an enemy on the screen. Uh, do you think buying Fitbit would be a viable uh, option for this? And if so, which company would benefit the most? I think it's not about buying Fitbit. I think it's reinvesting in Connect. Let me tell you why, because Connect also could tell your heartbeat already. That was a sensor it had and they never actually utilized. It could tell your temperature and a bunch of other things as well. So I think it's about reinvesting in a camera system they already had. Interesting. I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah, yeah you're totally right. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming Thank out, you. everyone. Thank you, everybody. Guys.